So here's a variety of music. I did some changes on the on the recording of it. So let's hope that we got it all fixed. I'm using a different browser, something called Waterfox. See how it works. I, I also turned the RTC off. Let's hope that works. Oh, here is something from one of my favorite groups from the 80s.
called the zoo. And the first one before that was Silent Lucidity. So that's Queensryche and Scorpions. Here's a song from the 1970s. Well, just so you know, the 70s is one of the best years for music, in my humble opinion. And this is certainly one of the greatest rock and roll songs. One. Many, many hundreds of great songs in the 70s. song because I want to give you a variety of music and I know 70s <clears throat> I've got a lot of requests for 70s music can you play 70s and here's a song you probably never figured you'd ever hear on the piano so this is also from this is actually from the 1980s <laughs> Thank you. 
all the verses. Take it on the run. All right, well, I also got a request to play this. Let's see if you recognize this one. I'll give you the initials, EJ. So I can remember it, you know what? It's been, a, it's been about six months I played this. this group. I love this group. But I got a request to play something from a band called Journey. Anybody ever heard or hear of Journey? Hey, if you can name the lead singer, I'm impressed. I won't give up his name. Oh. Well, you got he, it's a guy. So I won't give you any more hints. Uh, and he's he can't sing anymore from what I hear in the news. Sad. So this goes out to all you Journey fans. A very old Journey song. That's what got me into listening to Journey. <laughs>
the sky and open arms. I might play this next one from my sister's wedding. I can remember this one. Whew. From a Distance by Bette Midler. I totally don't remember that song anymore. Sorry, Miss Midler. I, mean, I like Bette Midler. Just that wedding was 27, 28 years ago. I was just a kid. <clears throat> so can you believe that? Just a kid back then. And, well, she was a kid too, but sometimes we married when we were really, really young. Nope, never got married. All right, well, enough of that. All right, well, let's see. Uh, I'll put a little bit of, about me. Some people ask me, can you tell me more about yourself? Well, I was born in Newport Beach, but I lived in Huntington Beach. I was raised in Huntington Beach, and I now live in Anaheim. And I've always had a massive desire to go to Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm and Magic Mountain. One of my great addictions of life. And uh, thankfully, I live two miles from Knott's Berry Farm, four miles from Disneyland. Uh, unfortunately, I, I still live about 55 miles from Magic Mountain. Well, can't win them all. So what are my likes, dislikes? I like astronomy, I love science. I am a friend of the Observatory for Griffith Park. Now they change that to a different uh, organization. 
but I donate to the uh, Griffith Park Observatory every year. Important to me because of the of what they do. So that's a little bit about me. So, so uh, um, I think that's about it. I've been playing piano since 1972. I was really a kid back then. Got my first lesson when I was eight. First show at nine. So December of 72, my first show. And so this December will be, wow, 49 years, I think. Anyway, it's a long time playing the piano. So next year, yeah, next December, I'll be hitting 50 years playing the piano, doing shows for 50 years. So I'm going to play one of my original pieces. And uh, this is a, uh, goes way back. Uh, I actually put forth, put out a CD of music and then I produced another eight CD, eight, no, eight CDs total, one CD went out, but I did seven other volumes and unreleased. So I'm going to play something that's unreleased. And this is from... One of my, uh, I'm not sure which volume it's from now. from one of my classes so I, I might have snuck in a little bit to that piece but it's called The Gambler's Hand and I love it and so I'm going to present an original composition on my next week's show I did a sonata as an assignment for one of my classes so I'll play that one probably next week a little sonata. I'm going to do the whole sonata nine minutes long but I'm also going to play Neptune which is a piece I featured at Cal State Fullerton um, in the future. All right, so yes, I am a composer. I've composed over 80 pieces and I've released one CD. That's enough. All right, well, that's enough about me. If you want to share about you, you can too. And uh, here is something going back in time. Uh, my, this is what my grandmother 
she loved this song a lot. And so when people tell me it came from the movie Ghost, I, I have to step back and say, uh, no, it, it wasn't the original Righteous Brothers song at all. I think it goes even way back further. I didn't look up the history of it, but it's called The Unchained Melody. My grandmother loved this piece. And Ghost came out in the late 80s, and she passed away in 92, I think. So, and she would tell me about Unchained Melody when I was a kid. So, nope, wasn't Rocket Brothers who wrote it. sing it so they didn't write it so clarification somebody else wrote it well now my request going back a few years uh, 1930s this might actually be I, I might have played it last week you know what <clears throat> but then the point is I, I archive these videos anyway so when this video gets posted the last week's video gets pushed to the archive I'm eventually going to put together a uh, concert, an official concert series to post on my other page, but I'm still bear working out the, the, the details. I'm going to be doing a James Bond tribute show for sure. I'm going to get the James Bond watch and the tuxedo. I already have the tuxedo. And I'm also doing a tribute to Broadway, classic Broadway, so it's before 1960, and then modern Broadway after 1960. So 
This is going back to 1930s. This is called You Made Me Love You. trombones and you made me love you and I do those two because when I hear science six trombones I hear you made me love you and vice versa so it makes me wonder if Meredith Wilson was inspired by those great songs from the 30s <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not giving him I'm not accusing him of doing anything except just putting forth great music one of the great things about science six trombones is Meredith Wilson liked playing around with melodies and so that same melody appears in a ballad and um, in the same uh, musical and it's um, it's an actual ballad where she's singing to the main character and then he's singing back and it's good night my someone so he'll uh, do it <laughs> Thank you. 
If you're a musician, you're gonna say three, four, 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 yep. That's what Mary Wilson did. And can you imagine the poor performers? In fact, one of the great stories Robert Preston told, learning the uh, one of the toughest songs in his career was learning Meredith Wilson's Trouble. It took him four months to learn it. Trouble. And so I have a great respect for Meredith Wilson and his composition. I have a great respect for all those actors who put up with learning his material. I can only imagine that one bit with Shirley Jones or Preston, they probably spent a week or two at least practicing it back and forth because you're going from 3-4 to 4-4. Four, four, and that's Meredith Wilson. All right, well, enough of that. So I told you a little bit about me, a little bit of my inspiration, Meredith Wilson. I like Liberace. So this next is a Liberace tribute. You might already hear Liberace. I mean, but one of my first, uh, my first exposure to Liberace, probably shouldn't say it that way, scratch that. My first experience hearing Liberace was on a TV show. I remember seeing him on TV coming out with his uh, very long tailcoat and I heard this song and I was blown away. I actually thought that there was a recording somewhere in the background because how do you play the piano like that? And thankfully Liberace inspired me along with many others to play the piano. But this is some of my love. Unfortunately there's no pedal here that works and I'd like to get my piano tuner to come back when it's safe to fix this pedal so it sustains again. So I'm going to do a rap time version of Summer My Love and by the way, You Made Me Love You? The version I probably played was very close to the Barachi because I liked the way he played it. Okay, we'll do one more 
think one more song would be good. Uh, how about from the Wild West? Let's take a trip to the saloon. I'll have a pina colada. Do they have a, I'll have a root beer or a sarsaparilla? Thank you. 
thank you very much. I hope you had a good time as much as I did. And we will see you next week. So we'll keep this going as long as you want me to. So have fun. Have a great uh, week next month. It's April. And it looks like Easter is coming soon.